guys and girls welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you for joining me for this video what do you guys think of my new little setup i am a huge fan of it obviously i've still got stuff to do here but i'm loving how the quality is looking from the camera i'm loving my backdrop i'm just finally loving everything so yeah i hope you guys are well and doing perfect do you think i should put the plant there should i put that little plant let me, let me see should i leave the plant there let me know Anyway, I'll probably change it if you're not. Just let me know in the comments if you think I should keep the plant there. So yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, of course. Um, if you're new here, I would love if you could subscribe and click the notification bell. I've been so excited to film this. Super, super excited because I made a huge order on YesStyle. If you don't know what YesStyle is, YesStyle is like a Korean website. I think. I know they do loads of Korean skincare, which is what I got today. And um, they do makeup. I think they do clothes, things like that. Um, so yeah, I did do quite a big order on YesStyle. YesStyle, YesStyle tends to have a lot of sales on which is what I was really gravitating towards. However, I heard that the shipping could be long and that and all of that stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna give you the ins and outs of what shipping was like for me, if there was customs, what was it like, especially during like lockdown right now, obviously we're easing out of it, but packages and, and shipping tends to take a little bit longer. So I have the receipt here. I paid with this with all my own money. I am not in collaboration with YesStyle. These are all opinions are my own. I'm not I'm not gonna be reviewing any products. I'm just gonna show you what I got and then I will do a YesStyle skincare review type thing. So I did pick up a fair amount of items. So I made this order on the 16th of June. Yeah, I made this order on the 16th of June. It is currently the 7th of July. So it didn't take too long. In terms of calendar days, from the 16th of June, it was around about three weeks. In one, two. Yeah, around three weeks. Um, didn't take, I think it was supposed to be here last week on the July the 1st. So it took two and a half weeks. However, because of Royal Mail, they didn't decide, they decided not to deliver it. Um, and then I had to wait a whole week for them to send me the for you like something for you card but anyway I have the order now I have it right here I have a whole box of goodies here I don't know how many things I ordered how many things did I order 14 things but altogether I have 20 items I think um all the information in the description I'll disclaim whether something is like affiliated or not and so forth so yeah head to the description if you want to pick up why picked up um i might give you one review of one product just because i used it today and i'll tell you now i was like wow like i never normally gravitate towards a product so quickly used it once i was like i like how it feels on my skin so yeah we're just gonna dive right into the box so the first product that we have i picked up is the um secret key lemon sparkling peeling gel now this for it i did not know about until i started watching like youtubers that do skincare but this guy right here was supposed to be like the og from like the huda beauty scrub for you know the enzyme scrub thing which i'm okay with i don't mind her stuff but i thought this had been really cheap and i'd seen loads of people talk about it and was like this is if you want the og and that's something that's not gonna um, it's a good exfoliant and um, I don't really like harsh scrubs but these are the ones I tend to go for if I'm not chemically exfoliating and um, the cellulose in this in this just bunches up and obviously it's not your dead skin so many people get carried away and say it's your dead skin it's not it's just the um, cellulose reacting and um, yeah I picked this up um I think this this is 12, 120 milliliters it looks pretty pretty decent at least um, I just wanted something exfoliating. I just thought, yeah, this could be cool. Lemon sparkling. It's supposed to be refreshing carbonated water and lemon removes impurities and exfoliates for bright, healthy looking skin. So I'm guessing it's going to give me a really vibrant feel. I will always use this on my Instagram, my YouTube, all of that. So stay tuned for when I'm going to be using that. This cost £8.39, so relatively affordable. This product that I picked up and was going to take out, I've seen from loads of references from loads of YouTubers. I'm not going to name them all because there's so many of them. And just skincare people in general. This is the Bio or Bio UV um, Aqua Rich Water Essence SPF 50. Now, I have been craving some SPFs. Um, I haven't tried this one yet just because, obviously, you can see it's in the back, in the little packaging. Do I feel the package is necessary? Probably not. But yeah, this is SPF. 50 i always recommend don't get me wrong i'm happy to use an spf 30 but preference i prefer an spf 50 just so i know i'm getting that highest amount of protection i would personally advise spf 50 to anyone and everyone even if you're dark skinned even if you're indoors even if you live under a pineapple under the sea wear your spf because you need it 
you need it so yeah and um, i do have some but i've been wanting to stock up on especially some korean ones so i'm glad i'll oh, this is a japanese brand this is oh so i might be able to try this out then it's nice it's a japanese brand that it says on the back word on the back on the back so yeah i'm excited to use this one and this one retailed for £8.57 so again relatively cheap if you're going to get a good decent amount of SPF this is a great little one to go for. Next have a brand that I have been wanting to try for the longest time and now that I know that I'm going to try them I'm going to end up buying more from Yesstyle so I tend to do quite a lot of these hauls. This is the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream um, for brightening and wrinkle care double function cosmetics so it has tea tree leaf water and Centella Asiatica leaf water oh 70 percent wow yeah so i had seen so many people rave about this this was something that i why does it never, this is what i mean it never focuses and i get so many of you guys sending me this is what you do so i tried it for some reason just my camera doesn't want to do it but yeah this is the product that i'm talking about right here unless i do that that's when it focuses but yeah this guy right here this retailed for £8.57 again, great little bargain, really, really cheap. I can't wait to use this. Um, like I said, it's it's a light and moisturising gel cream that can make sensitive skin blemish calming and relief with Centella Asiatica leaf water and tea tree leaf water for skin stress. So yeah, on the days where I'm a bit more sensitive or I'm a bit more irritation, I just want a little bit of moisture and to really lock it in, then I would obviously use this. This has been on my list for quite a while and I'm so glad I picked this up. Next have another SPF. <laughs> I think I did pick up, I think the main part of this actual um, haul was me picking up SPFs. Now I am a massive fan of the brand COSRX. If you don't know about COSRX, COSRX I absolutely love. Um, so. Uh, this is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50. Again, you guys know I'm a huge SPF fan. Like I say, I just, rec I, don't wrong, about a year ago, I was like, oh no, you don't need SPF. And then someone, I watched a video of someone's or someone said to me, Han, you need to wear SPF. I was like, but I'm wearing it in my foundation. I'm like, no, you need to be wearing your SPF 50, mate. So yeah, this is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream one. This, I think, was... Uh, £12.31 so it was a little bit more expensive than the other ones but again a bargain um, especially for an SPF and, ooh, you are getting SPF 50 I've heard nothing but amazing thoughts and I've never tried anything from Cosrx that is bad I've always enjoyed their products so yeah so glad I picked this one up we then have another two cleansers um, we actually have some two cleansers now and these are both again from the same brand Cosrx so we have the the two most popular ones we have the low ph good morning gel cleanser from cosrx and then we have the salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser now you can get cosrx i think in places like look fantastic things like that but strictly because of i wanted them from yes style i got them there so these retail for low ph morning gel cleanser was £9.40 and the salicylic daily cleanser was £12.18 so this one is really affordable this one's still affordable but a few more pounds probably this one would be better towards um uh bleh blemish cream skin my head just went there and this one i'm not really too sure it's formulated with purifying botanical ingredients this low ph formula works to soothe refresh and soften the skin without stripping feeling which i love this would probably be my morning like literally my morning cleanse i prefer these type of cleansers and then this salicylic acid cleanser might be my, my evening when i want to um melt the bonds that are holding the dead skin cells together and give my skin a good clear out so yeah i'm glad i bought these two the next item is from a brand that I've really wanted to try, the brand Perito. I've been really wanting to try this for the longest time and I've seen nothing but good thoughts about this. This is the Fum Green Cleansing Oil um, from Perito for all skin types. I needed this in my life. I just needed it. I just thought there was no way I could go through my skincare career and not try this brand. I have seen nothing but good thoughts from here. I'm purposely looking down to look at the price. The price of this was £15, so currently the most expensive item that I have paid for. Uh, yeah, other than one thing, I think this is the most expensive item that I have in my collect, like in the order that I have. Um, so this is an olive oil base facial cleansing oil removes makeup, impurities and sunscreen, which is what I scream for because some cleansing products, they don't take off your skin, sun uh, they don't take off your sunscreen, which is what you need at the end of the day. You need to deep clean your skin, otherwise the sunscreen will clog your pores. So it has six natural oils that gently and effectively cleanse the skin while maintaining the skin's moisture, mild enough for sensitive skin and is a daily wash off cleanser. So I'm guessing you obviously apply it to your skin as an oil, you then 
melt your makeup off or your sunscreen and then you obviously emulsify it with a little bit of water so yeah i think this is a bit more expensive than other products this was something that i needed and olive oil is the first ingredient on the list you also have sunflower seed oil we have sweet almond oil we have grapeseed oil vegetable oil but yeah, I've seen nothing but great things, so I'm I'm hoping this is going to be good. I really, really do, so I'm excited. And I love the packaging. Like, the packaging just screams vibes to me. So yeah, so glad that I've now finally invested into this brand. Another thing from Pruto, which is something I just, I know I'm going to get back off of. And this was the product where I was like, I used it today and my skin just loved it my skin my neck my hands my arms loved it this is the centella green level unscented sun spf 50 cream water-based sunscreen also water-based sunscreen this is also from Perito. this is what the product looks like i needed this in my life guys everyone and their mothers had been raving about this sunscreen and i was like why the hell do i not have it and i now have it so yeah great little buy it says a water-based sunscreen formulated with centella extracts to help protect your skin from uv rays and harmful environment to, uh, and harmful environments without stickiness or white residue left on the skin it does not contain any essential oils or artificial fragrance which is what i live for um it's a personal preference whether you prefer essential oils and fragrance i personally do not just from experience i've had no trouble with them but i don't really want them in my products just because i don't really see the need for me to have fragrance sitting on my face all day but yeah um what I liked was that it was such a creamy texture, it's like a normal moisturiser, didn't have that SPF feel, didn't have that like, which I like because sometimes SPF is nice, but it didn't leave that SPF feel to my skin. It just felt as if I was applying a moisturiser, but knowing that I was protected. So yeah, this is something that I could see myself stocking up on a lot. I know they probably do these on loads of Korean UK websites that are a bit more expensive than if you used to buy from YesStyle, because I think you're generally getting it from a Korea rather than it being imported to the UK and then you buying from a stockist, which is amazing, like those websites. I will link loads of different Korean websites down down in the description that I love um, so yeah head over there if you want to shop and you want it posted a bit quicker so yeah um, I think I'm definitely going to get this one again I'm hopefully going to stock up on this one because this is my jam I knew it from the first time and I don't really do that a lot with skincare products because I tend to like to give them a while but this one I really really enjoyed yeah still going <laughs> so now this is something I was so excited for I was excited for all of them but yeah this is the AHA BHA PHA 30 day miracle serum by the brand's name's not on here oh sun by me this is the product right here this is the uh, 30 day miracle serum has ahas bhas and phas to work as an effective exfoliator to leave skin clearer and more radiant than before um so if you don't know what ahas bhas and phas are if you want me to start doing more skincare videos like that then let me know but they are exfoliating acids and um, so ahas alpha hydroxide beta hydroxide um, and then phas are acids that exfoliate skin like glycolic acid salicylic acid lactic acid are amazing i have them instructed into my daily if not my weekly routine i wouldn't suggest you using them at high concentrates when you first start out but find what works i will be obviously sharing loads of um, information on my instagram story so head over there also i'll be doing my normal instagram and at my youtube so yeah also wait for that this was £12.35 and I think it's like a serum, yeah, it is a serum so this is obviously goes on after your cleanser, after your toner, after your eye cream and then you put the um, serum on. Next we have another product that I was wanting to try from Perito because I'd seen everyone and their mother rave about it. I think Perito is one of the brands where I was like I need to invest a lot of my money into. This is the Snail Repair Advanced Serum and um, this serum contains 95% of highly concentrated snail and mucus mucus found in natural rejuvenating the stressed skin and helps to make shiny skin but by improving dull and dark skin due to dryness um that's what i needed i just wanted something like this just because don't get me wrong i was like happy with my vitamin c and my hyaluronic acid and all that stuff but i wanted something different i wanted something that my skin had not been used to yet something that my skin probably needs something just a bit more zhuzh to it rather than the typical acid or vitamin c so yeah i'm glad i then started to dive and go other places with my serum so yeah i'm glad i got this one and this one was 10 pounds 97 obviously of course the price has changed due to sales and things like that but that is just what i got um we next have the next three items which i am so excited i'm more excited for all of them 
we have here the Maison. I went to the bestseller section. So yes, I'll have a bestseller section, which I highly recommend looking at because this is where most of the products I got here I got from. This is the multifunction formula snail repair eye cream. Um, so it doesn't have much on here. It says contains 80% of snail mucus to provide brightening effects and wrinkle care to sensitive skin around the eyes. My under eyes and my eye area my orbital bone have been incredibly dry and peely lately. I can't tell whether that's because of my eczema, whether it was sun exposure, whether it's just general dryness. They haven't felt like that today because of the moisturizers that I'm using, but around here, like my tailbone, I don't really do my brows, but it's been peeling and it's been really painful. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be really gentle around the under eye and yeah, like I think this looks great. I've, again, I've seen nothing but good thoughts and good um, opinions on this. So I'm, I love it when they come with a little spatula. I think that's just so handy. So yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. It just looks really luxurious. This is, oh, again, it won't focus, but this is something that I probably like also get my mum if it's good. I again will give you feedback on all of these products and let you know what my thoughts are on them um, because that's what I do. I love to review stuff for you. The next one that we have was something that again I saw on there and I was like, I'm an and whether to get it. This is the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm, the original scent flavor from Vanilla Co. And um, this was a brand that I'd been wanting to try out for the longest time. I thought it was more of a gimmicky brand until I saw big influencers and big YouTube and skincare people. Um, use this which is what something i was like okay cool i'm definitely gonna grab this so this is what it looks like i'm gonna use this today to take off this makeup because i just i just need to use it but this is what it looks like i love the packaging of it the packaging is absolutely everything and um, i did get the original scent i think they do quite a few um, when I went to the options you can on your style grab whichever one you wanted but i just wanted the original just because yeah, just wanted that and that retailed for £14.41 so that was like the third most expensive thing but technically the second because the next thing I'm going to show you later has like it's like a travel set and I think it's so worth it and my friend recommended it to me so yeah I grabbed this one and I was so excited to grab that because cleansing balms um, are really really amazing for your first cleanse and um, when you're taking off makeup you apply it to your skin you remove your makeup sunscreen if you don't want to use a cleansing oil you want to use a bit more of a balm to massage it in um, and then obviously emulsify it with water and then obviously take it off your skin and go in with your next cleanser if you choose to do a double cleanse which I would advise now this one right here was something I needed because I'd seen this everywhere on TikTok people were going mad for it and obviously there was that whole skeptical thing about if you buy it on Amazon it's not the legit thing so I thought let me buy it on yes style is it going to make a difference is it fake is it real I'll never know so this is the Laneige Laneige lip sleeping mask in berry i wanted the bigger one because the smaller one was like three pounds for like three grams and i was like that's literally nothing that's not going to cover one of my lips but anyway yeah so this is what it looks like i was so chuffed to have this in my possession now let me see if it smells any good oh my god that smells great that definitely smells like berries berries are not really my favorite scented thing but these are really this is scented really really lovely i cannot wait to use this i'm going to do like a little skincare um using new korean skincare in just a second and that'll probably be up on my instagram probably this week but yeah i am chuffed about that i'm so happy to get that and i think that was around 12 pound 35 so it's not a bad price wanted to go a little bit lower but can't really go wrong really now the last one which I think is most beneficial to probably a lot of you, if you are looking to try out a brand, yes they tend to have like their travel section, like travel bits. This was actually recommended by a friend and I just thought I trust her opinion so I am going to grab this and I did. This is from a brand called Benton which I have actually heard of before and I needed to get it. This was £19 and I think it had the best travel set for the price in a long while so it comes out of this box right here and as you pull it out you get a full selection of travel size products now for me because i have so much in a grateful way because it's my job i tend to not always need a full size cleanser and um, because by the time it expires i probably not use it fully yet sometimes i might and um, even with serums i probably only need a travel size so i tend to buy a lot of my skincare in smaller travel sizes rather than the big version unless i can't get the travel size but this is the Benton travel kit. There's seven, there's seven items currently in there for £19, which I think is amazing. So we're going to go through them quickly. So yeah, all together I had like 20 items. So the first thing that we have is the Snail Bee High Content, High Content Steam Cream right here by Benton. 
again this will never focus it will now i'm not too sure what this is meant to do this is a tested derm dermatological control snail secretion filtrate um hyaluronic acid and various botanical extracts are used to help improve your complexion this creamy formula blended at high temperature using the steam method provides long lasting moisture this this cream helps to keep your skin moisturized and smooth so i'm guessing it's like a mini moisturizer it's great again like i said if you want to try out the brand we then have the benton fermented eye cream which to me looks like a full size but it's obviously not i would want to know what the full size looks like but it is a 10 gram um, size let me just open this up and now travel sizes that's a very good travel size, in my personal opinion anyway. This just looks like a normal size eye cream, so I'd want to know what it actually looks like full size. Um, but yeah, the price was great. The price was really great. We then have the Snail Bee High Content Essence, which again is another product that I had been wanting to get my hands on. It's not going to focus. I give up with it. Um, this helps to keep your skin hydrated and smooth. It's dermatologically tested. You get 15 millilitres. I oh, sorry, my care check is squeaking. You get 15 millilitres of this here, um, which is great. So that's another little bargain. We then have the tea tree cleansing water, which is great if you're going like traveling to your partners or you're going on holiday in the future when everything goes back to normal and you're being safe. Um, it'd be a nice little just test to take if you are Oh, this has tea tree leaf oil, which would probably be really nice. Oh, I did say a tea tree cleansing of water. What is the matter with me? But yeah, this is a great set to take on all of your traveling journeys, especially because you know it's going to do great for your skin. Well, I hope it does anyway. So yeah, that is that. And then we have the Benton Honest Cleansing Foam. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to buy a travel set like this, try out the brand. If I like the brand, I'll then get the bigger size versions. But yeah, so this is a cleansing foam mildly... Uh, the cleansing foam mildly cleanses... Fatigue skin caused by very stress and pollutions. This face cleanser is not only cleanses but moisturizes, mineralizes, minimizing skin tightness, which is great, which is what I think everyone really wants. So, yeah. And then the last two we have. So technically, you're getting a travel size full of full of facial stuff. So you've got a facial oil, a cleanse, I think so. Like you've just basically got a full skincare routine. We then have here the aloe or um, aloe. We have the aloe propolis um, soothing gel which i'm guessing is rich in polysaccharides and a propolis extract known for its soothing properties so this is more for your soothing areas if you've got sensitive skin or if you've got irritation this would be a great one to soothe your skin with and then lastly we have the aloe aloe oh my god what is wrong with me the aloe vera no not aloe vera but aloe bha skin toner so this is a, I can't exactly say what it's meant to do, but obviously BHAs are exfoliating. So this would be a great little toner for those that want to just exfoliate the top layer of their skin and things like that. So yeah, that was literally everything. I'm going to put all of the information in the description. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it sounds weird just be doing a random haul, but I am going to be doing more of these because I know you guys probably just want to see what I buy and I'd love to see what you guys buy. So I know what to buy and what not to buy. But all the information in the description, I'll put other cosmetic korean like skincare retailers in the description i'll put any links to any products if you want to purchase them and things like that so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a massive thumbs up it would mean the world to me i love you all and i shall see you in my next video bye